Judge Gibbett and I were the same size. The same clothes, everything fitted just exactly. I could walk into his dressing room, put that on, and do the show. So finally, <clears throat> after the Broadway run at the Royal Theater, 45th and Broadway here, uh, the, we were going on tour. So when we got to Washington, D.C., May says, you're going in. George isn't going to do it. So I says, great. I was ready. So this, uh, we opened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday was Thanksgiving. Two days before, I wouldn't like to mention this district attorney's name, he sent a message to the theater and he says, uh, that black actor cannot play with a white woman on a stage in Washington, D.C. And he says, we'll have to close the show. Well, May says, it stays in. This is the way I wrote the script, and it stays in. So she played it. I had two performances. And on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, they padlocked the stage door of the Schubert Belasco Theater in Washington, D.C. What did the two of you do on stage that they objected to? Uh, well, I had a scene. I kissed her. And they said that would never happen. So anyhow, I didn't uh, uh, do anything. They told me, said, well, you stay here until things cool off. It was almost a lynching. Tucker appeared in Straight to Heaven in 1939. The film starred Nina Mae McKinney as the wife of an innocent man accused of murder. Her son is kidnapped by gangsters. This time around, the black Valentino plays the villain. Can't you do something? But my dear woman, where would they go? We can't help you until we find them where they went. Middletown. Of course. That's where they always go. They're up at the summer cottage. Middletown? Now we're getting some place. I knew that Lucky John would show his hand sooner or later. Telephone the chief of police at Middletown and tell him that we're on our way up. Right, sir. Hey, get some of the boys ready. Let's go. Wait till I get through talking to the district attorney. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Stan. You know you can always talk things over with me. We'll talk things over. Down at headquarters. When I think of the way you railroaded Joe and then went after Ida, I don't know what stops me from pulling this trigger. Are you sure you're not bluffing, Stan? Bluffing? Why should I bluff? When I have the letters left by Elliot. Oh, but you didn't know I have them. Well, I... Rich, punk, and keep that water pistol in your pocket. Well, smart Alec, things are about to turn about, haven't they? You didn't really think you could outsmart Lucky John, did you? Come on, Chief, let me take care of this guy, will you? Not yet. Not just get Ace. I want to find out just how much he's told his friend. He's got some talking to do, haven't you, Stan? The cops. I told you we wasted too much time. Why? Let me think. It's going to take a powerful mess of thinking to get you out of this one, Chief. Who's there? It's the law. Open up, Dr. John. We've got you covered. How many of them, Gus? Too many, Chief. One of you coppers step in that door, I'll... I'll, I'll blood the kid. Oh, my boy, my boy. You can't do that, Sergeant. Think of my boy. What about it, Sergeant? Well, I suppose if we don't rush them, they'll rush us. No, no. There's too many of us, Lucky. You better come out peacefully. Yellow, I tell you. Come on in. Don't you? Don't you? Well, if it isn't the big shot himself. All through playing cops and robbers, Lucky.